it actually upset me how little of Brad Pitt we got in this movie. The Lost City stars Sandra Bullock and Channing Tatum. A reclusive romance novelist on a book tour with her cover model gets swept up in a kidnapping attempt that lands them both in a cutthroat jungle adventure. Now to be completely honest, I wasn't really all too excited for this movie. But there was an early screening so I figured I would go see if it would surpass the little expectations that I had. Or just even give me a fun time because I would love a little fun time with Sandra Bullock and Channing Tatum for an hour and a half. Who doesn't want that? And Lost City is pretty much just that. It's a perfectly fine movie that I may never watch again, but I had fun. For starters, you have to talk about the cast because they are most likely the reason why you're seeing this movie. I found myself not to be the biggest particular fan of Sandra Bullock here. I've never been the biggest fan of hers, and I might have preferred a different actress in this role, to be completely honest. But Channing Tatum, on the other hand, I really enjoyed here. We really are in the Channing Tatum renaissance with Dog and now this. I'm really happy to see where his career is going, as it's going in this upward motion after he's giving us good performance after good performance. I feel like the real reason why he works so well here is actually due to his character's stupidity. He plays that so well. In a sense, he gives a convincing performance because you might think that he actually is stupid. And like I said in my intro, Brad Pitt was the total scene stealer here and we didn't get enough of him. That's the movie's biggest crime. They gave him like 10, maybe 15 minutes of screen time. And then I won't say what happens because it is a bit of a spoiler but he is not in the movie anymore. The only reason that I could think of was that either he, one, didn't have enough time to do more with this movie, some schedule conflicts, or two, they didn't want him in this movie because he was that much of a scene stealer. Like if he was in the entire thing, I would have much preferred like a trio, Channing Tatum, Brad Pitt, and Sandra Bullock rather than what we got. But I would love to see him do more comedic roles like this. I know he's gonna be in Bullet Train, which is gonna be later this year, which I'm definitely looking forward to his performance there. And the jokes, particularly here, they were a bit inconsistent for me. I found myself really laughing at sometimes, and then other times I found myself just going, haha. The audience I was with though, loved this movie. Like you can, they ate up every single joke. So for a lot of people, I think it might work. For me in particular, I didn't love all the comedy. I enjoyed the adventure vibes as well. They like go into the jungle obviously and go look for this treasure against their will of course, but it does give you romancing the stone vibes. I know that's a movie that everyone's gonna compare this one to, but it definitely gives off that kind of vibe. But I will say something that the movie is lacking is this really good chemistry between our leads. I just didn't feel that pull and that affection towards one another. Maybe that's just because Bullock and Tatum just didn't play off each other as well. I felt that a little bit, but the romance wasn't there. For plenty of people, this will be a total surprise. It'll be a movie that they found themselves enjoying the heck out of. And it's definitely that movie that you can watch on a date night and find yourself totally enjoying. For me, I'm not gonna say I didn't enjoy myself, but is this movie a movie that I will ever watch again? No. Like I said, a perfectly fine movie, definitely a good movie for a date night, and overall I thought it was just fine. I'm gonna give The Lost City a C+. If you're looking for a good date night movie or just a little getaway with your loved one, I would suggest going to check this one out. But if you've seen The Lost City, let me know your thoughts on it down below. And thank you so much for watching this review, and if you did enjoy it, consider giving it a like as well as subscribing and hitting that notification bell to get notified whenever new videos like this go live. As always, look forward to more videos coming soon. My name is Ben, people call me Meter, and I'll see you guys in the next one.